Hey everyone, so today I am finally going to install this Mountain Pass smash plate, crash plate, Under Armour. I can't honestly remember what it's called, but it's a, it's a piece of aluminum that goes underneath your car in the front of the car for Model Y, Model 3 to protect mainly the coolant lines that go into the battery. There are some plastic lines, I'll show some pictures of it, that uh, can get damaged very easily by running things over uh, big rocks, uh, ice boulders, we'll call them, little boulders, but big enough to crush these, these coolant lines. They are not very sturdy. And if you're someone like me who has decided to lower their car even more, the risk is even higher that something like this could happen. So it's a little bit of insurance, I think. So uh, let's take a look at what we got and uh, install it. If you got a lowered car, like, I do. This is just very good insurance in my opinion because I don't want to hit now I'm I'm not I'm not in a mountainous areas or anything like that uh that I drive through daily. I've been to Colorado and things. I mean, who knows what you could hit on the roads, but in the winter time now, when they do the plowing, you know, you end up with those like ice snow boulders. You don't know what they're made of. Sometimes they're nice and soft. Other times it's like pure ice. A big ice boulder rock thing could easily get under the car, kick up, and knock one of those water lines off. So that's all of a sudden what kind of really got me uh, just this last couple weeks. You know, it snowed and they did they did some plowing and I was out there. And I did run across one of those and it's not that, wasn't didn't seem that big. Uh, I was kind of forced to run it over. It's not like I was going at any high speed, but all of a sudden, right before I went into my car, I'm like, Holy crap, that better be one of those nice little soft ones. I heard it, you know, bumping underneath the car and I'm just like, crap. I gotta, I gotta get this thing on here. So I've waited too long, honestly. So yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a potential issue. All right, let's see if I can do a quick comparison here. Obviously you can see I've done a little damage here already. Little scrapes. But if you look, this is basically just some kind of I don't know, it feels like plastic, you know, some kind of fuzzy plastic really, you know, nice and lightweight, but it, it offers very little protection. I mean, as you can see, there's, there's, there's a hole already here from hitting something. And, you know, this is eighth inch uh, aluminum. And it's not, not heavy, but compared to that, it is actually heavy. So, all right, let's see what we got. Oh, shiny. Thanks for your order. Oh, so nice. Signed even. All right, some install hardware. Good. Ooh, man, this thing's pretty heavy duty. All right, I'm gonna say number one downside right now. It's heavy. It's not heavy, heavy, but I don't know. It's gotta weigh like, maybe, I think it's five pounds actually from what I understand on the website. I believe eighth an inch thick. And uh, yeah, I mean it, Feels beefy. Feels good. All right, so I did not leave myself a lot of room in any way in the garage. I got the car too close to the back of the garage. I, or I didn't raise it up all the way. Hey, why make things easy? All right, so let's get under the car and see what we got. If you can see, we've just got a few bolts to remove on the front here. And there's just, uh, two or three make that about four or five in the back so uh, let's get those removed everything is 10 millimeter except for these two bolts back here these are 15s All right, and wow, 
What the? How did that get in there? There is a lot of, of road debris in here. I mean, just little rocks, little pebbles and things. My God. Yeah, there are a lot of, I mean, what is this? What they give here with this kit are like a couple of these spacers here. And these spa spacers make up the room here, uh, make up this room from this indentation. And uh, this bumper kind of, you know, does the same thing over here. So uh, first we put these guys on and uh, then we put the plate on. It's really not that big of a deal. All right, let me see if I could show you what we've got under here and why this plate is such a good idea. So here is the underside of the car and some of the things that we're worried about. If this would be a bad break. It, this would leave you stranded for sure. You know, you crack this. These are coolant lines that go into the battery. These get hit and break. Yeah, you're stranded. You know, you're going to lose all your all your coolant for the batteries. Uh, they're not going to cool anymore, and it, it's probably going to shut the car down on you uh, for good reason. Now, that would be bad. However, cracking one of these guys, one of these guys, and... I think there's one back there, and there's probably one back there, too. You crack these, and from what I understand, you can't just replace them on, by themselves. You have to replace the entire battery pack, which sounds insane. From what I've seen, that's, that's true. That's the case. So He ran over something, and it punched through the belly pan. And what it did was it hit this, this plastic bullet tube right here, and it smacked the battery nipple and it cracked the nipple right here. You can see it cracked the bottom half of that nipple. The yeah. problem is Tesla says the only way to fix this is to replace the battery. Really? At $16,000. Insanity, that's, that's worrisome. Now you do have, you know, kind of protection here, but you could see how it's not that difficult for something, you know, the, the normal the cardboard basically cover comes comes here, but. Something could easily bounce up and hit, you know, high voltage lines, crack this, crack this, anywhere, anywhere in here, and you're going to be in trouble. And you're going to have a very expensive potential fix here for these guys. So this is, these are your main concerns, and this is really why you want something like uh, one of these metal or uh, aluminum shields, you know, to offer a, just a lot more protection than what what tesla gives you you know everything else in here really isn't that big of a concern you know this is just a, the wire here pretty flexible you know obviously this would be an issue if it got hit so i mean you, these are your biggest concerns back there nothing really let's uh, get the camera back nothing else is really that concerning you know it's, it's, it's pretty heavy duty but yeah these voltage lines and these water lines and connectors there those inlets the, those are really what you're trying to protect let's get the shield on okay you do need some loctite they say blue which is what i got and we put a little bit on these threads here okay these are 17 millimeter and you torque them to 33 foot pounds Bumper goes right here. Just kind of gets hand tightened in there. This is gonna be a little bit of fun. something something I'm not liking so the heads on these bolts here are just you know a little bit bigger than the opening 
that's not good. Now they did give a couple of these washers here, but uh, they're supposed to be spacers like for the front, uh, for the front of the plate, which I'm not sure are entirely necessary, but I was going to check that out, you know, as I tighten that up. I'd kind of rather use them for, for these. I mean, it really looks like it's what it's for, but the instructions don't say that. I have some flatter washers, I think, in stainless. Let me see what I've got in my own little supply. All right, I did have some giant fender washers, but uh, I didn't need them. I do have these smaller, relatively thin stainless steel washers in my collection. Uh, and I will use these. All right, so yeah, that looks way better. It was advised to put some thread lock on these guys too. So, I will. Okay, front of the car view underneath. Nice and flush here with the front. And then it runs all the way to the battery. Oh, nice and slick where that lines up really well also. So yeah, the only issue I had was um, these two bolts here. Now, I could have used these these washers there for it I guess it's not what they said to use though and honestly these are way too thick for that uh, you know you're you're much better off with a thinner stainless washer and the instructions if I remember correctly they say to put these spacers like in here but I, I, I don't know why I don't know what they would be there for because this sits perfectly flush right now well, not perfectly but if I put the spacer in there it wouldn't be nearly as close as it is now to being flush so yeah I, I don't know I really don't get that okay so upside like I said insurance you got a lot more protection for the underside of the car downside uh, really the only downside is it costs some money and it weighs 11 to 12 pounds if you watch any of my other videos in order to have the quickest Tesla Model 3 on the planet uh, I had to shave some weight off of this car and now I just added 11 to 12 pounds so uh that is not good that is not good at all uh something's gonna have to go breakfast maybe i don't know i'm glad to get rid of this guy oh well you know what this has got to weigh a couple pounds i might have to measure this all right we might not be up 11 to 12 pounds we might only be up like 10. it's not bad